just ate part of a donut and sugar is making me <laughs> have to keep clearing my throat. <clears> Let's <throat> hope that doesn't happen throughout the entirety of this video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a Shop Miss A slash AOA haul. I will tell you more about the company in just a second, but I have heard about them for a few years and I have finally made an order. So I technically have two, that's four, I technically have two bags from them, two purchases, because the original order came in a few months ago and there were a few things that were out of stock on the website that I definitely wanted to make sure were in my order. They're all here now and I cannot wait. So a quick little rundown on the company Shop Me Say. They're primarily an online store, but they do have a few locations in Texas. Basically what they do is they sell really affordable, mostly $1 makeup and beauty products. So they sell products from other really affordable beauty makeup companies as well. But I think in 2016, they launched their own line called the AOA Studio. I specifically bought the AOA products. So the general products in the AOA Studio line are all $1. There are a few charity lines that they have that are all marked up a little bit. So just a little bit of an explanation as to why on their website it'll say everything is $1, but then you'll see something that's like $155 or $133. And then occasionally on their website you'll see that something is $5 or $10. And the reason for that is usually it's a bundle deal, but then they also have like eyeshadow palettes. And those eyeshadow palettes, if you really actually look at it and you break down the price, the price is like a dollar per eyeshadow in the palette. And then sometimes it's like a dollar for the palette itself. So then it's like, well, it's still technically a dollar per item. Just a little FYI for you there. Here are my two packages. I think I ordered this in April and it came in May or something. And then this one I ordered a few weeks ago and it came in, I haven't even opened it. And I looked through this one a while back and I don't remember much of what I got. Also their packaging is super cute. <laughs> Look at their bubble wrap. Not only is that cute bubble wrap, but also that's super durable bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. How do I open you? Oh, there's tape. Okay, I've got my basket of AOA things. First off, I wanna say this was not an AOA item. I bought it on Shop Me Say, but it's not from their line, but I needed a new hairbrush at the time. And so I got this Cala Vent Brush. It's this brush right here and it broke, but I still use it and I need to throw it away, but it was only a dollar. So I really wasn't mad when it broke a few months into using it, but for a dollar, I really like this brush and because it's a vent brush, I feel like it works really well with blow drying my hair. Just wanted to mention that because it's not technically AOA. I can't remember actually if these are AOA or if these are another brand. I think they're another brand, but they're these hair ties. The ones that are supposed to be like hose material almost, so they stretch really well, but they don't hurt my hair. The hairbrush and these hair ties are the only items that I've ordered from Shop Miss A that I've actually used. I've only used one of these so far. It is about this big around now. <laughs> I've been using it for months. So there's that. Just wanted to honorable mention these little guys. First item are these AOA Studio Ova brushes, a five piece set. So I know this style brush has been around for a while, but I personally haven't used them yet. And so when I saw these brushes on Shop Miss A, I really wanted to get them because it was a set of five brushes for $5, a dollar per brush. And oh my gosh, I'm not gonna rub it on my face, but these are so soft. Oh, if I didn't have makeup on my face, I would so just like rub that on my face. And they're like super dense, which I think typically aren't these kinds of like oval brushes typically super dense. I don't know. Like I said, I've never tried them before. So you get obviously this really big one then like a little bit like a medium sized brush, super teeny tiny brush. I feel like that would be really good for concealer. 
And then you get these two really small like detail brushes. So I guess these are the ones that you would use for like lipstick and eyeshadow. These two in particular would take a lot of getting used to. Like am I supposed to fill in my lines with my lips with that or do like eyeliner? Ooh, you could do eyeliner with that one. Oh, like look how skinny that is. And then, I mean, I don't know, is this the lip one? So I think these two might be the most interesting <laughs> to get used to using. But I could be wrong, maybe it's all of them. But oh my gosh, they're so soft. Okay, those will be fun to try out. I have never used a bath bomb, but they have a bunch of them. And so I got this one, it is called Palm Martini. It's supposed to be pomegranate scented. And this is from their A2O line, but I have been holding out on using this because, okay, so when my first order came in the mail, I did, I pulled out the brush and the hair ties and this, and I got so excited. I wanted to use this and I put it by my bathtub and I almost used it one time. And then I was like, no, I need to save it for when I do the haul like overview video. When I do use this, I'll let you guys know how it went. I didn't really get into like enjoying bubble baths until like the last year or year and a half. So I can't wait to try this guy. This poor box got squished, but that's okay. So I got their setting spray. It says it's long lasting, fragrance free, lightweight, locks in makeup, high definition, non-drying matte finish. What does, oh, non-drying to your skin. I was like, it doesn't dry, dry down, no doesn't dry your skin out. So this is part of the A plus line, so it's 188. I remember I got this one because I only have two setting sprays, which is totally fine. It's not like I need a million setting sprays, but one of them I'm really just trying to use up until it's gone because I don't like it that much. And so for just 188, might as well try it and see if it works. I hope that the little mister thing on it is good because if the little nozzle sucks, then it's just like, Whatever, what's the point? Ooh, yeah, they have these little shadow armor things that you put under your eye to like keep fallout from eyeshadow to get on your, your makeup. Self-adhesive beauty, beauty, blah, 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 blah. Self beauty tool that you can place under the eyes to obtain a smudge-free, flawless makeup application. Catches eyeshadow fallout, helps create a straight edge for eyeshadow, prevents messy mascara smudges, that will be where I'm gonna need it the most, probably. Helps perfect the winged eyeliner. I will be interested in seeing if it works for that. That would be really nice. Hands-free and disposable. So you get 14 of these patches in here. So if you're using two at a time, then it's seven uses. I assume you can only use them once, I don't know. But it does say self-adhesive. So if they're self-adhesive, why would I wanna put them on with my makeup on? Whoops, I just scratched my neck and now I think it's really red. I'm excited to try these. I've never tried any kind of tool like this before. I'm really fascinated to try this out and see if it does help primarily with the winged eyeliner and for the mascara smudge, anti-smudge situation. I'm really interested to see if it works for that. So those will be fun to try out. So I got these lash applicators. I'm not somebody who does fake lashes very often, which they actually sell a bunch of fake lashes on their website. And I don't think I actually got any fake lashes <laughs> because I already have some that I already don't use very much. But I did buy these because I always am trying to put them on with my fingers. And I think one of the reasons I don't like lashes is that I feel like my fingers just get in the way. So I picked these up and I'm really interested to see if it'll be an easier application or not. Do you wear fake lashes? Are these easier than just your fingers? I don't know. Oh yes, okay. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of these at the same time that are all very similar. So AOA has a lot of makeup sponges. And I've heard some really amazing things about their sponges. So this first one is their Mochi Wonder Blender. I think all of their sponges are latex free, which I think is awesome because I personally know some people who are allergic to latex and some sponges have that in there. So these do not have latex in them. Ooh, I really like the way that that feels. It's nice and squishy. It's not too hard. I hate it when sponges are like rock solid and then even when you wet them, they're still super hard and I love that. I typically use a dry sponge, but I will definitely try these wet and dry. So this one's cute little coral one. Then you have their Paw Paw Wonder Blender. So it says it's super soft. These 
they all say they're high def. So this is in the Paw Paw collection. The Mochi one's in the A plus collection. So, okay, cool. There's those. And then last but not least, I think this is the last. <gasps> Sorry, the way that that feels, I was not expecting that. I love the way this feels. So this is the microfiber sponge. I'm so sorry because it's like fuzzy. Oh, mine has kind of a tear in it already. See that little tear? So I don't know if that's a manufacturing issue or if that was like traveling shipping issue or what. That's a little sad, but it's fine. The soft microfiber velvet feel sponge can be used wet or dry, absorbs 70% less product than a standard beauty sponge. Gives you a natural airbrushed finish. That's cool. This is in the Paw Paw collection as well. So I think these two are the same material, basically the same sponge. This one just has that flat edge and this one's just round all the way. Um, and they both have like super pointy tips. So like that'll be really nice for getting under the eyes. And then this one also has that flat edge and a really pointy tip. I just want to hold this the whole time, but I cannot, I will get distracted. Amy, don't stop it. Okay, still going in that um, beauty blender theme. Got a little blender holder. This is the whirly one. Look at this little guy. It literally is like a poached egg or like a soft boiled egg like holder. I believe this came in three colors. Obviously I got the silver and I'm pretty sure it came in rose gold and yellow gold. That's so cute. I am just gonna leave you in there and you are gonna go right there. Ooh, what is this? So this is the Perfect Finishing Press Powder. You might say, well, that's really not your shade. That is true. This is in the shade 157 Almond. Because I couldn't find a bronzer or a powder contour, I did buy just a darker pressed powder and I'm interested to see if this will work or not. I keep scratching this one spot. I'm very sorry. So I'm interested to see if one, if I got the correct shade for my skin tone, and two, if it works. So that's why I got that guy. What is, oh, so this is a concealer. This is, I don't know if the name of it is natural finish concealer, or if it's just like, hey, this has a natural finish, but it's a liquid concealer. It says it's non-drying, creamy, long wearing, and I got mine in the shade Porcelain. It's really hard to tell online with any company what shade's gonna be right with you. So I ended up just getting the lightest and figured if it only works for my under eyes and like highlighting the face, that's totally fine. But I did wanna get a concealer from them to see if that would work. Oh yeah, I thought these would be kind of fun. I'd never really seen anything like this. These are the AOA soap, soap sheets. You know, those little Listerine packets that have like the little Listerine sheets that dissolve on your tongue. This looks like a big version of that, except they're soap sheets that you can just plop in your purse. Or, I mean, I don't know if you're a guy, can you just plop them in your pocket, I guess? And you're supposed to be able to just pull one out and wash your hands and go. So I guess if you're in a public restroom that is out of soap. But honestly, one place that I thought this might actually be really good is if you're going camping. The campsite public restrooms don't usually have soap. And if they do have soap dispensers, they're usually empty. So I thought this would actually be really, really good for that kind of a thing. Anyway, I thought those were kind of fun and kind of nifty and I'd never seen anything like that before. So I kind of just want to try it out and just see if it works. Do they actually lather up and do my hands feel clean? Does it leave a weird film on my hands? I don't know, we're gonna find out at some point. So this is their Halo highlighter and I got it in the shade 085 Allure. This is their baked highlighter. They had tons of options for highlighters from what I can remember. And this one just kind of jumped out at me the most. Let's see, so this is the No Pore Face Primer and it has a matte finish. It's supposed to lock your makeup in. It's supposed to minimize pores. It is silicone based, it says on the back. So if you don't like silicone primers, don't get this. It says it's suitable for all skin types. Uh, creates a smooth canvas. Okay, well, that's nice. So look, like $1 makeup, I'm totally okay with trying. This is either the product I'm the most excited about or one of the products I'm the most excited about. I 
don't know yet. This is their AOA Studio Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. I got it in two shades because, again, it's really hard to tell online what shade you're gonna be. They're a dollar, so I got, I think, the two lightest shades. Um, this is in the shade Porcelain, and this is in the shade Fair Ivory. It says it is a full coverage foundation, and that's all it says is a full coverage foundation and you're supposed to shake it a lot. Super excited to try those because hey, if those work and they don't break me out or anything like that, um, $1 foundation. They have another foundation that I really wanna try but they were sold. Still in the line of face, base products. I also went ahead and picked up their Perfect BB Cream. It says it's skin perfecting and color correcting. So I got mine in the shade Fair. I have a hard time with BB creams, like finding one that matches me because typically BB creams don't have a very wide selection of colors to choose from. So I have a hard time because usually they're too dark for my skin tone and then I have a lot of red so they don't usually cover that up enough for me. But I thought Hey, you know what, for a dollar, it'll be worth trying to see if I can finally find a BB cream that will work for me. Ooh, these are the XL Long Lasting Shadow Sticks. Um, I've had shadow sticks before, not obviously from them, but from Julep or something, I've really enjoyed them. I got these in the shade, where are the shades? Where's the shade? This is Matte Nutmeg. And this is Shimmer Noir. They have a bunch of shimmer and matte uh, shadow sticks. So I picked up just one of each. But I just picked up pretty neutral tones. So I thought I would definitely use them because they're shades that I would use on a regular basis. I thought they were supposed to twist up, but this isn't twisting. So I don't know, are you supposed to... And then this part pops off, is it? I don't understand. So I don't know, maybe you're supposed to sharpen these. I'm a little confused. I thought you... the bottom of this just popped off. So that's why it just flew out of my hand. Why is it not staying put? Like, is there a function for this or is it just not staying? I thought they looked like they were like twistable ones. They're not. So I guess you have to sharpen them which is totally fine, but I am really confused as to why this keeps popping off. I don't know if I just got some duds or if they all do that or what, but be careful with the shadow sticks. Okay, so next up is blush. When I made my first order, I thought I ordered two different colors, but somehow I accidentally ended up with two of the shade Looker and it wasn't their fault. They didn't accidentally put two of the same shade in there. I ordered two of the same shade, but because of that, in my second order, I ended up getting a different shade. This is in the shade Darling. I'll be interested to try both of these shades and see if I like one over the other. And if I end up liking this one, then well, that's great because then I have two of them. Oh yeah, I forgot that I had this other base product. I ended up getting their Perfect Setting Powder. I got the Brightening shade because this one is a press powder. They did have these in different skin tones. But because I already had this formula, even though I'm gonna be using it in a different way than just an all over face powder, I did wanna try a different type of powder from them. So this is their Wonder Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Mars. I thought this looked really beautiful. They actually had a lot of eyeshadow options from their baked eyeshadows to more like ones that were in little pans like this. They had like little eyeshadow palettes. They had bigger eyeshadow palettes. Yeah, eyeshadow seemed to be a thing that they did a lot of and also because it's eyeshadow they had lots of shades so they had multiple formulas and tons and tons of shades so i end up really enjoying this formula maybe i'll buy more i don't know i don't buy singles very often but for a single eyeshadow and for only a dollar that's a pretty decent size product which i really appreciate i was thinking that these were aoa when i bought them but they're not, so I don't know why I thought they were, but I did get it on the Shop Missy website, so I am gonna share it. But these were some hair clips that I thought were super cute. So the brand is Melody, and these just looked so cute. 
And I am not a huge like barrette kind of girl. I'm more of like hair clips for functionality, not hair clips for looking cute. <laughs> but especially because I'm doing videos and I'll pin my hair out of my face, whether for like styling my hair or just to keep it out of my face while I'm doing video, or like while I'm putting on my makeup. I was like, you know what? I might as well try some of these cute hair clips. And these are a decent size. I don't know, are they really cute? Of course I put it on the side I cannot see it in the monitor. You know what? No, I knew they were not AOA, but I just wanted to get some hair barrettes because I realized I don't really have any because I don't wear them, but I kind of need them for videos. So gonna give these a try. I'm excited to try those out. Oh, so then we've got a Sculpt FX contour stick. I got mine in the shade Fawn. I can't remember if it's the lightest shade or not. Oh, also I got this one because I don't ever use cream products. I use liquid foundation and liquid concealer, but I don't ever use like cream products. So I figured I would just get a cream contour and see what I think. Um, lip product, oh, I got a lot of lip products. I didn't realize how many I got. Okay, cool. So I got a variety of lip products here. So I got just a traditional bullet lipstick. This one is in the shade Bliss. So then I also ended up getting this Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Blessed. I just thought it was a really pretty pink shade that I personally would probably end up wearing. They had a lot of different shade options. And then I ended up getting two of the lip glosses. I think they had more than one kind of lip gloss, but I ended up getting two of the same kind, but just different shades. So this is in the shade Ladylike, and then this one is in the shade Role Model. And these are their lip pop lip glosses. So lots of lip lop, lip, lip options. <laughs> Amy, get it together. Have I had this fuzz on my shoulder this whole time? No, that's plastic from the thing. I hope that hasn't been up there the whole time. Anyway, so lots of lip options to look forward to. Another kind of complexion product that I totally forgot about. This is the Wonder Cover HD Concealer. So I forgot, so this is another type of concealer that they have. So this one is in the shade Lavender. So they had these in color correcting shades. So this is more for like dullness, brightening up complexion and things like that. And I've never used a lavender color corrector before for those types of things. So I'm really excited to try it um, and just figure out where to use it on my face and just figuring out the whole lavender color corrector thing. I have two eyeliners. I have the Wonder Liquid Eyeliner and I just have it in the shade black. Then I got a gel eyeliner in the shade dark brown. These were two of the shade or two of the formulas that I saw and I just wanted to try different formulas. So I got a shade that would work for more like a dramatic look or more of an evening time look and then I got the dark brown which would be more of like a daytime kind of a look. So that's what I wanted to get those for. This was on, I think the second order I did. I got their Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I think it has a cap on both sides. So I think it has a spoolie on it as well. Really the only brow pencil I use is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And I love that eyebrow pencil. And so this one kind of reminded me of that when I was looking at it online. So I did go ahead and pick this up. So I'm interested to see if it will, will remind me of the Maybelline one that I love so much or not I don't know we'll see finally I am almost done. almost done last but not least I got two mascaras um so this is the fat lash mascara and I got it in the shade black and I think it's supposed to be volumizing or something I mean I don't think I mean hence fat lash I mean that makes sense volumizing but I mean it doesn't really say if it's supposed to be volumizing or anything on the bottle itself but I would assume from the name that's what that would mean. And then this is their skinny under lash mascara. So primarily for the bottom lashes, but they did show picture, pic, pic, blah. but they did, <laughs> but they did show pictures of someone wearing it on top and bottom lashes, but I guess it's primarily for those bottom lashes. Hold on. My voice is so dry right now. So really excited to try their mascaras. I think their mascaras were sold out the first time I ordered. So I got these on my second order and I was so glad that they were actually in stock. So that's it for me guys. I 
Hope that you enjoyed this Shop Miss A slash AOA haul. So keep an eye out for more AOA Shop Miss A videos coming in the future because I'm definitely gonna break these down into some different videos. And let me know down in the comments if there's an item that you are the most intrigued or interested to see how it's gonna work out. And also let me know if you've ever shopped from them before. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out on my channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to join the everyday family over here. And make sure to ring the bell if you'd like to be notified every single time I upload. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will see you next Thursday. Hi. Look at this pack. Yeah, I am. Look at their bubble wrap package. You should save it and use it as a boxing glove when you get upset with me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But it does, when you did it like that, it does look like the, in Black Panther, when she puts the little shooter things on her arms and she's like, bah, bah, bah. That's what that looks like. Bah, bah. Or a boxing glove. You should hold that up like a fist to my face for a thumbnail. I already did my thumbnails, but okay. Oh. I don't want to punch you. You're my husband. I'm not in it enough. <laughs> You're so silly. Love, Love you. you. I'm going to wipe that off your lips. It's sticky and pink.